I did Lee Harvey Oswald, who's famous for uh, shooting and killing uh, President Kennedy. Uh, it happened in, on November 22nd, 1963, in Dallas, Texas, where JFK was on a kind of a rally with uh, the Texas governor, John Connolly, sitting in the front seat of the car. Uh, at about 12.30, limousine entered Daly Plaza. Uh, this was a route that was publicized beforehand, so people could come out and watch uh, and wave the president as he goes by. Uh, a couple gunshots came out moments later. President Kennedy uh, had been shot while he was next to his wife. Um, witnesses said that they had seen someone on the sixth floor of the Texas School Book Depository. Um, after going up there, they searched it and they found an open window and boxes kind of stacked to kind of guard the window and also boxes arranged as if someone were using it as kind of a, a ledge. Uh, they found a rifle uh, and three shell casings on the ground. Uh, officers later learn of Lee Harvey Oswald, who works at the school depository. He was seen walking in that morning with a tall brown bag. Uh, one of his co-workers confronted him on it, and he claimed that they were uh, curtains, curtain uh, rods. Uh, so immediately that seems kind of suspicious, so there's kind of a manhunt out for Oswald. And an officer tip that he's a jury here approaches him and uh, motions for him to come walk towards him. And Oswald shoots him three times in the shoots him twice, falls over, he walks up and shoots him in the face again. Uh, he is later arrested in the in a theater and after he failed to pull out a revolver. Uh, you can kind of just see the attention that he was getting from everyone. Over 3,000 pieces of evidence were collected. Fingerprints on the rifle matched Oswald's paw print matched Oswald. Um, like I mentioned, he was seen with the wrapped object that morning. Uh, police believe that it was the rifle. On January 1963, he had ordered the same exact revolver that was used to kill Officer Tippett. And in March of 1963, he had ordered a 6.5 millimeter rifle. It's what they believe was the murder weapon for JFK. Um, just kind of an interesting fact about him is he was a certified sharpshooter in the Marines. Um, so he had the capability to, from that distance, to have precise shots. Uh, this is just kind of uh, what they had seen. You can see, this is the window right here. You can see the way the boxes were lined up where they found the, the uh, fingerprints and the palm prints. This is what it would have looked like looking out of the window. Here's another view. And this is where they believe that he was and then where JFK was shot. And then that's the rifle. Um, kind of a motive behind him. Uh, he was very pro-communism. Uh, kind of had a weird obsession with Fidel Castro and Cuba and their whole thing. Uh, he lived in the Soviet Union for three years and was married to a Russian girl. When he came back from, uh, when he originally went to the Soviet Union, they told him that they didn't want him there and they were going to reject him and later he ended up staying and living there for three years. But when he came back, he thought that he was going to get a lot of media attention. Well, you know, why did you go to the Soviet Union when at the time, a lot of people didn't like communism and stuff. And when he arrived at the airport after coming back from, to the United States, no one was there, and he thought, you know, what, you know, why aren't people interested? He had a kind of a sick obsession with wanting to be a part of history. Um, he thought that him coming back to the Soviet Union was going to be kind of his claim to fame. You know, why did this guy leave and go live there? And you know, why is he coming back? Um, he actually originally had bought the rifle picture here and a revolver to assassinate General Lee. Um, that was going to be his claim to fame, is that he killed him. But it didn't work because he shot through the glass and the uh, bullet misfired and ended up missing him. Here's the bag that investigators found. 
Uh, the verdict, this is where it kind of takes a weird twist and where a lot of conspiracies come out, is the trial never happened because Oswald was shot while being transported. Uh, you can see Jack Ruby right here, he's the director of a local strip joint. Um, shot and killed him while he was being transported. Um, there's conspiracies around, say, maybe you know, this was, you know, he was supposed to kill Kennedy and someone's going to kill him to keep him quiet, someone's going to kill him and all these things. Uh, Jack Ruby claims that the reason why he killed him is because um, it, he, he felt like it was his job as an American citizen to stick up for JFK and stick up for American people by, by killing him. Uh, Oswald. Oh, and then I was going to say that I, th I think that it would have been interesting to see if it would have gone to trial because if you if you look back at the media attention that has sur surrounded him, um, you can see obviously the, all the people standing around. Uh, we saw when he was being arrested, all the people were outside the theater. It would have been interesting to see if he would have gotten a fair trial. Um, but I think, in my opinion, I think he was guilty. I mean, he, he has the motive. He has the capacity to kill, obviously, when he tried to kill General Lee. And, um, you know, he, the fingerprints and stuff. And you don't shoot an officer just randomly. He's trying to talk to you if you're not guilty of something. 